Hello, this is a quick video about sanding your models and making sure that they're ready for covering. If you want to learn this essential skill for building balsa wood models, then stick around. Let's first cover why we have to sand before, I've just said cover. That's a bit of a pun. Let's cover why we sand these components before we cover them with material. The reason that you have to sand these parts is that when you cover it with material, that material can sometimes get ripped and torn up by the rough edges along these former lines and these strips. The tabs that hold these components in to the laser cut sheets before you pop them out um, can sometimes be a little bit rough around the edges. So to remove these imperfections, you need to find some sandpaper. So let's talk about what type of sandpaper you need. The grit of the paper that you're looking for depends on what type of wood you're using. But for most cases with these type of aircraft, like our magnificent flying machines, you're going to want 400 grit sandpaper as your sort of go-to. It might also be worth carrying some rougher stuff, such as 200 grit or 180 grit sandpaper, just for when you have a lot more material to go through, or or you have some denser material such as plywood. In our magnificent flying machines models though, you don't have any plywood, so yeah, you can probably just get away with 400 grit stuff. With the direction of your sanding, you want to roll with the grain. So instead of going against the grain, so where these wing ribs, for instance, are going uh, this way, you don't want to be attacking them that way and going <laughs> against them. This is because some of these parts can be very fragile and they're not designed to be pushed the wrong way. Pay attention to each wing rib and former and you should be fine. Also make sure not to put too much pressure on the wood. Take your time. Okay, let's talk now about the leading and trailing edges of your wing. These edges need to be sanded down to a taper instead of just leaving the wood completely blunt. This will make your plane look more like the real thing but more importantly, it'll make it cut through the air nicer. Try holding your wing or stabilizer on the edge of a table and use a sanding block to bevel those edges. Talking of sanding blocks, you can make all sorts of sanding blocks to help shape your wings and your fuselages and your stabilizer surfaces. A really quick and easy one can be assembled in about 30 seconds using just a paper and a square scrap of balsa. Simply wrap the paper around the balsa square and glue it down with some super glue. All right, thanks for watching this quick tip video. If you liked it, then make sure to subscribe to get some more, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.